Before we get started with today's video, I'd like to say that I've made a Discord server where the link will be in the description below. If you're interested in joining, feel free. You know, you can chat to me, other members of this community, or what little there is of it. Uh, first five people who join, they'll get an early member role, which, you know, that's kind of a cool flex to have in the future. But other than that, I just hope you enjoy this video. Welcome back to another game of Legends, but this time with an upgraded version of Ayla's Companions from the store. This is basically just a small upgrade, tweaks here and there, so a beginner would have a better kind of ability to pick it up. And let's just see how it goes in an actual match. We're up against a Dunma, who claims to be a God Slayer. I highly doubt it, personally. Right, well, Mama Fi is the only card in this hand that I don't want. Enchanted plate. Nice. I'll take that. We're going to start with Corn Belterra, just giving away that we're playing a beast form deck because, you know, no spoilers. And they summon a deadly Draugr, which will nicely counter it. You left me no choice. Might as well just slap their face a bit and leave it at that. There goes our Fawn Terra. And the fabled pointy wall of spikes comes out. Absolutely love that card when I'm using it. But dislike it when my opponents use it because it does get quite annoying to get round. Training grounds. Okay, they've already played a defense and a skeleton, we'll so a few of them clearly, us. clearly they've they've got something going on here that I'm You're not me, sure about. Man. Oh look, it's a pale skin, snotty expression. He's a Breton. You all know that's from, sure, please. Okay, so skeleton deck then. I'd guess. I mean, it's nowhere near Halloween, but attack, if you want to get spooky, attack. then go for it. <laughs> I apologize for all those who cringed from get that ready to your joke, but oh well. My video, not yours. I'm sorry, please don't dislike. I need the likes to feel better about myself. Okay, so we can guess it's a skeleton deck. <laughs> the issue is, if it's well made, this is going to be a bit of a mess to deal with. Oh, okay, falling wizard. You know, as you do. I do want to hit their face this time, but I guess we won't be able to. We'll just clear this side of the board. The field lane shall be ours. And they've only got three cards in hand, with six Magicka, seven if they break their last bit of the yeah. ring. I doubt they can do much. Never mind. I jinxed it. Talk about building a wall. Right. There's no real point in trying to hold on to this Grim Shield brother like he's actually going to hit their face. It's never going to happen. Take a few of them with us. <laughs> we know one of their cards is Experimental Scroll, but we don't know what the other two are. I'd assume one's a Skeleton, though. Okay. And then the last card's the Scroll. Wait, hang on. Did the Scroll not just massively backfire for someone who used it? That is a first for me. I've never seen someone actually use that card and not regret it heavily. Fair play to them. I'll give it that. So obviously Cicero is going to have to just kill one of them. I need the draw power right now. <laughs> Only slightly worried that this game is going to go completely to the shits, to say the least. I guess I can get rid of that so it doesn't have a last gasp. Uh, oh, I played them in the wrong order. Oh well. I'll keep. Yeah, Time I'll to play this so I can use it on Ayla. I should have done it on Circle this year. Oh well. Guess I'm thinking much longer term than short term. 
That's my excuse. <laughs> Definitely meant to do that. Good, they're trading, that's what I like to see. Night Predator is going to do well, and it also means we can play Grim Shield Brother. We We're just going to ignore together. the Shadow Lane for now because a free strength w lookout isn't going to harm us that much, as I highly doubt that they're going to have that many dragons. I mean, they might have Skeletal Dragon, but other than that, it's not much. Dark Guardian. And another champion. Oh dear. This is not looking good. Right, I guess I could try and destroy a rune. Okay, this is gonna be quirky. So I play Ella, hit the Dark Guardian to wound it, then attack the Risen Dead. So I can destroy that. Now their champion can't attack us directly, and they get a prophecy. Never mind. Never, never mind, that's just, that's good for them, but it's not amazing. And again, I think we're just going to ignore the Shadow Lane for now, and buff up Ayla so she can take both of them. See, I actually really like the deck they're playing. I think it's quite well made. Just the one issue that they've got is the same one that I had when I ran Intelligence and Endurance, and so they don't actually have that much draw power. I mean, I say that as they're playing a card, which allows them to draw something else. So, don't trust me. That's what I'm trying to say. What they got? Oh, Jesus Christ, Double Popsicle. That's going to be a pain. Right, if I ever say Trading Grounds is a bad card ever again, feel free to just slap me. This person has proved that it is an excellent card in the correct deck. Honestly, well done to them. This is a hunt. really cool deck. Oh, We're just going to have to build a wall to stop them. And I think it's going to be best if we do put this on our Orc Guard as Night Predators. It'd be nice for them to kill Bone Colossus, but uh, it's just too risky. And RNG saves us with Mummify! <laughs> yes! Right. We need to Mummify that Bone Colossus so they aren't just destroying us next turn. Yeah. And we'll play down Form of Terror to hopefully bait out an attack. See, any true loyal fan to me who knows how I play Strength decks will know how I'm going to end this duel. And that's with Aspect of Hearsing. Oh god, they got a second training ground. This is not going to be good. We'll hit that skeleton with our night later. An unfortunate mistake. Yeah, I probably should have put some of my werewolves down first. To be honest. The yeah, they've realised that I've been a bit of a dumb dumb bubblegum. Oh well. I mean, hopefully, two cards don't destroy me this turn. Okay, as long as they don't give that guard, we're in the clear. If they give that guard, this might be a loss. And I've jinxed it, as usual. Right, we got to hope we just get a beautiful draw. And we do with our third Mummify. <laughs> Thank God for that, right. So that pointy will of spikes has been a bit of a pain, but I think it might get to stay. And we could end this with the cards in the field. But if you know me, it's got to be a basket for Right, well, this has been an amazing game that I've genuinely enjoyed. If you enjoyed watching this, please like, subscribe, follow Twitter, whatever else you want to do. And hopefully I'll see you next time.